Change course. We're heading to Celadus. Remember, securing Cosmonite is our top priority. Yes, sir. Oh, it's fun to charter an accountant sailing on the wide accountant sea. So that's the ship that sent out the distress signal. Any idea what kind of any idea what kind of ship it is? Can't you see? It's an Isokaze class. No need to be so rude about it. Do you hate being my escort this much? This much? We're actually yet now on like the next episode of Yamato after the last one is last to the like the next episode so that's up going to, to Enceladus to pick up more Cosmonite because we have to fix the transit the stir and run into um, Gamelon forces here. No, I didn't mean. I suppose you were getting this assignment. You'd rather be out guarding the others at the Cosmonite mine, wouldn't you? That's not what I meant. It's not like I like you. not like I like you or any, I, mean, I mean don't like you or anything. Listen up, I'm only going to say this once. I'm in charge of this rescue mission, so I expect your full compliance with my orders, Dad. Yes, ma'am. Don't call me ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Whack! You are absolutely infuriating. If only someone here, if someone here would introduce me to the concept of hitting people with a Harrison, who, will, who I'm attracted to, but, but I'm annoyed with. Those two are sure acting strange, huh? I do not detect any abnormal behavior patterns. I have watched all the Full Metal Panic. This is like normal. The only way to be more normal is if you put, if she put him in a German suplex or something. Yeah, yeah, well, you would. Hey, what, what is it? Can I ask you a weird question? If you, if you must. Ooh, I knew this was coming. Do you have any? Alien relatives or anything? Face fault! Excuse me? Well, yes. Well, it's just... Never mind. Forget I said anything. It's just like Inamoto said. Boatswain? Chief Petty Officer Inamoto? He was Tactical Officer Kodai's Head Navigator Shima's Instructor at Training School. According to him, Tactical Officer Kodai has never been able to interact with women very well. Right, let's get going. can't believe we didn't find a single survivor. This is the same class type of ship as the Isokaze class assault, face assault destroyer Yukikaze. Memoru, I will finish what you started. Now, how this, now the way this plays out in the show, in the original show, like this is about as far as I've watched the original show, I think I watched one episode after this, is... This is actually the Yuki Kaze, and the way he finds out is he find is Kodai finds his brother's gun, which is the design of the Cosmo Dragoon. Because in case you didn't notice, these are Lichi Masumoto style noodle people, and then they're attacked by Gamelon tanks, and they pull some tricks and stuff so that he can sweep around and take out one of the tanks from the board, hijack one of the tanks, kill the crew, and then use that tank to destroy the other tank. We're under attack! The Cosmo Seagull's been hit! No! Now we have no way of escaping! The enemy is fast approaching. Tactical Officer Kodai. Gamelins! What the heck is that? The call sign is unique to Gamelas. Are you saying that thing's a Gamelin soldier? This is, our, this is our first time our characters have actually been Gamelin face to face for the first time. No actual face. Ah! Ori, take Harada and Analyzer and get out of here! But the reason I'm here is to protect you! Just listen to me! Fine, but be careful, Kodai! Come on, this is as far as you're getting. I'm your daddy! What is that? 
And then this is where we go off the rails. What is that? He says, repeating his last line. Uh -huh. Wait, those monsters aren't gambling weapons? As indicated by the fact that the gambling is no f is freaked out as well. Ah, my Cosmo gun! This is when he gets his brother's Cosmo Dragoon. Kodai, use this one. I found lying on the ground. It's been covered in ice for years, but it still works. Thanks. You really saved my skin, Mori. Is this yours? This gun which managed to knock a giant monster back a few... a, a, a hex? No, I found it lying there. I threw it to you without thinking. But whose gun is it, then? There's, there's the big reveal. I detect hostiles approaching. Let's get out of here, Mori. They then take shelter of the Yukikaze. No use. They're taking off. They're catching up with us. Mori, you go on ahead. But it's my duty to protect you. Now go. What? It's Cosmo Zero. But who's piloting it? Someone else is approaching. Tactical Officer Kodai. No duh. Oh, here we are. What are what are these wannabe invaders? Because he looks like he talked with the, the Japanese tough guy accent with a whole bunch of rolled R's, but I can't roll R's, so I'll try to do this voice. What kind of robot is that? It's a super robot designed by Gona Guy. No idea. I've never seen that type before. Quick, get in. We have to get out of here while that robot is distracting the monsters for us. Wait a second, aren't you from accounting? Do you know something about that black robot? I only heard you were under attack and came to help. Gamelons are hitting the Cosmonite mines too. Yamato is going to intercept them. Be it, get out of here. It'll be a tight fit, but Cosmo Zero can hold all of us. Oh, okay. Watch your hands, Analyzer! Where are you touching? Let's go. Typical. Not even a thanks for saving us. Whatever. I guess I should clean up this match best first. Come on, you wannabe invaders. I may not know where I am, but I do know that your luck ran out the moment I showed up here. Snicked. Guess I gotta finish you off before I go home to Earth. Beat Metal Bees with one uh, one hit attack or return attack, not counted with the Bible support attack. What we got for attacks? We have a Getter Beam, Black Getter Strike, which none of the fuck is for yet. Do we have to one hit KO something? No range, nothing in range. Alright, so if I use it, so I can't use this attack after uh, moving. And I have grit and I have bullseye. Alright, so this is gonna hit me in the face. But I have 100 hit chance. I'm still kicking. I swear, if I make it through this, I will force the old man Sao Tome to confess. This is Ryoma from Ghetto Robo Armageddon. Oh, almost there with the crit. Oh, you're a charming piece of work. That kind of hurt a bit. Good thing I have a healing power.
I can only, I can only counter with the Gator Beam, so... It'd be nice to attack first. But let's finish you off so I can have the attack. Give me the focus boost. There's a chance you might miss. Oh, you die real messy. You like kind of get all melty. Very going to guy. All right, so now... All right, I, I'm just short of the focus for the Black Gator Strike. Yeah, I'm going to have to be taking <laughs> a whole bunch of time tanking myself. So different attacks have different... I move to flanking position. No, I'm still getting freaking hit. Facing doesn't really matter here. Let's go to get her beam again. Hard enough to finish him off. And he's gonna hit me still. This is a hard fight to not die at. Oops, nope. Actually, I wanted to try and evade. Took my evade chance. I mean, it hit me anyways if I can just tank it. Oh, that actually worked a lot better. Chin. More robot. Okay. Calling your buddies for backup, are you? Supplies are running low. Can't let myself be run down. What? That robot saved me? There's no mistake. 
It's a getter robot. It's a getter robot. As opposed to, yeah. Hey, you, wherever you are, if you're here to help me, then you're my favorite person in the universe. Uh, right. It was a getter robot, but what's it doing here? What is this place? What's happened to me? It seems like not both of us have gotten caught up in something neither of us could never really understand. Somehow, somehow I doubt the surprises end here. Here's the other. The task force is taking off. So those are the mystery robots technical mention. There are two of them? I thought there was just one. They look like the same type at first glance, but then you, they look like the same type at first glance, but then you start seeing the differences. Then that happens as it's a developer or the concept. If it's a concept that's known widely. Enough talking. We need to do something about that monster. Target that creature first. All units, prepare to fire. Hey, you. Are you familiar with that ship? No, this is the first time I've ever seen it. Well, whatever. If their opponents are those wannabe invaders too, they'll probably lend us a hand. Let's go. If you listen to that battle ship, these things don't stand a chance. Understood. You know, there's a reason I don't get out much. Because crap like this always happens when I do. And it's always because of the getter. Is he who I think he is? Okay. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.